I made this Apple Watch Ultra commercial using only AI and somehow it actually looks good. So in this video, I'll show you exactly how I made it, from generating the shots to bringing them to life. And also we're gonna talk a little bit about why this workflow might change the way you make video ads forever. Hello good people, my name is Michał Guzminski and this is where creativity meets technology. One topic at a time. So here is the challenge I gave myself. I wanted to see how far you can actually go with tools like Nano Banana and Clink start to end frame feature inside Higgsfield AI. I'm using Higgsfield because it brings together the newest image and video generation models all in one place. And let's be honest, AI can make things look cool, but it doesn't automatically make them creative. And that's where this workflow makes a difference. It gives me control over how each shot looks and moves, so I can actually design the story, not just let the AI decide it for me. Alright, let's start with the visuals. The first thing I needed was the right background for my product, so I selected the Flux context model and typed the prompt. It generated me a few options and when I saw one that had the right balance between the light and texture, I downloaded and saved it. Next, I found a clean photo of Apple Watch Ultra on a white background, that became my base image. Then I switched to Nano Banana model and uploaded both, the watch photo and the background I had just created. I typed a new prompt to turn it into a 3D reference shot of the watch. Once I had that, I started building individual close-ups. For example, extreme close-up of the outer edge of the watch screen. And each time I got a good frame, I saved it to my project folder. And when I wanted a new angle, I just changed the camera position in the prompt, something like extreme detail side view of the bracelet. And then for the exploded view shot, I used this one. A sleek Apple Watch hovers against the background, smoothly turns into exploded view, revealing all its internal components in extreme focus. It took me a few generations to get it right, but the final version looked like the real Apple product reveal shot. What I love about working this way is that you can almost storyboard your entire video inside AI, testing ideas visually before you even start animating. Once I had all my hero frames and close-ups, I was ready to bring them to life, so I switched to the Clink's start-to-end frames video model. Okay guys, here is how it works. You load one image as your starting frame, then another as your ending frame, and Clink generates everything in between. It's like having a robotic camera arm, but powered entirely with AI. For example, I started with a close-up of the watch face and ended with the exploded view frame. As you can see, Clink filled the motion perfectly, so the watch slowly opens up, just like in a real product reveal. Now, here is the useful trick. Once you generate an animation you like and you want to create the next one in the right sequence, click swap frame between your two frames. That swaps their positions, so your previous end frame becomes your new start frame. Then simply delete the old end frame and add a new one, and generate again. That way you can build smooth transitions, one after another in perfect order. I kept repeating that process shot by shot, until I had entire animation sequence ready. Once I had all my animations, it was time to bring everything together. So I opened it After Effects, imported all my clips and dropped it a music track. By the way, I got this music track from Musicbed. They've got a massive music library. That's when the whole thing started come to life. First, I lined everything up on the timeline and began adding a speed ramps. I I prefer to do it manually in the graph editor to get that clean apple style motion, fast in, slow out, perfectly smooth. Next, I added a few light leaks to make the transition softer and give the shot a bit of cinematic texture. Then I pre-composed the entire sequence and added a subtle position, rotation and scale animations. Nothing extreme, just small movements to make the image feel alive. Once everything matched the beat of the track, I played the timeline back. And for the first time, it actually felt like a finished commercial. Yeah, What's crazy is that, just a few years ago, making something like this would have required a skilled 3D artist and a lot of time. Now it's literally possible with just a few prompts and a laptop. But here is the thing, AI didn't make this video creative. 
the workflow did. Because it's not about clicking generate and waiting for magic happen. It's about building, tweaking, experimenting and shaping the story in your way. That's the part that still feels human. So yeah, this whole Apple Watch Ultra ad was made with AI tools, but every creative decision was made by hand. If you enjoyed this breakdown, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more creative experiments. And now I'm curious, do you think ads like this have a chance to appear in real campaigns? The comment section is yours.